Hey guys, this is uh, the Betamax man here. Um, so this video is going to be for a YouTuber of mine who wanted to see where the uh, preamplifier was located. Um, so I'll show you uh, where the preamp is. Now there's a section for playback and there's a section for uh, recording. So the uh, preamp is actually right here, located on this top of the this top circuit board. This circuit board has all of the inputs and outputs, um, but your preamp is going to be underneath this uh, shielding plate. So take those two screws loose, of course, so that the board can be easily lifted. Um, we're going to want to take the shielding plates off of both sides and uh, so you can get to all the capacitors. Now, I, if I remember right, the uh, record uh, section I think is either on this side or that side um unfortunately there is nothing on the board that tells you what side does what um so my suggestion would be is to change all of the capacitors in the preamp circuitry and that should fix the recording problem where it's recording in black and white only because it does tend to do that it'll record in black and white and this is usually the cause now if this doesn't work then the problem is definitely going to be uh, elsewhere in the recording circuitry and if you uh, now another thing I wanted to mention is that uh, Sometimes you can check the ESR on the capacitors. The ESR might show that the cap is in spec, but they could still be bad. Uh, they could still, the, the capacitance uh, part of it could be bad. So even though the ESR may say it's okay, um, the cap could still be bad. Um, you know, there's a couple things. There's the ESR and then there's the capacitance. And even though it might be fine on the ESR when you take a reading from it, uh, it could still be bad. So I would still change those capacitors. But as you can see, we've now taken the shielding plate off and now you can see the preamp so the preamp is what sends the the video uh, signal to the um, RF board and then from there it goes to the TV but a lot of times I've, I've had one of mine do this where I had one that um, was recording in black and white and I recapped the preamp and it fixed those issues so also I had a customer that brought me one to me and uh, had a problem with the preamp circuitry um, I replaced the caps again on his and it started to record like it was supposed to. So, um, I'm not seeing anything. I, I thought that the board was labeled record side and playback side, but it is not. And I don't remember what side it was that does the record and what side does the playback. So that's why I'm recommending go ahead and change all the caps in the preamp every single one of them because like I said they may be okay as far as ESR wise but 
they may still be bad so can a capacitor still be bad even though the ESR reading says it's okay uh, yes they can believe it or not yes they can so that is my advice to you on that now this is just a uh, part stack I'm not getting any voltages going to my uh, cassette housing or going to the main mechanism here so it does not load tapes and, and it doesn't have a power light he was also talking a little bit about the um, power supply and how the transformer was getting uh, hot um, and sometimes that can be the voltage regulator that's going out on it and sometimes it could be the transformer that's going bad I've had that happen once before where the transformer got real hot and uh, I'm pretty sure it was the the regulator that was the cause so I hope this helps you um, but this is where the preamp circuitry is located. So this is the preamp circuitry right in here. And you know I'm going to go ahead and, and put my uh, shielding uh, plates back on here. But this is where it is just right underneath the shielding plates here. And if you do that more than likely you will fix the recording and if it doesn't fix it then your problem more than likely is going to be somewhere else in the recording circuitry so if this does not work i would definitely recommend getting a service manual i think the service manual is definitely going to be the best bet to um figure out what's going on with the circuitry with the record circuitry but like I said I've replaced the capacitors and the preamp before and it has fixed the recording problem so these particular models they have a lot of problems where the machine is recording in black and white so that that should fix it though I really I honestly believe that that's where the problem is gonna lie you can also benefit from doing a recap on the head amplifier so the head amplifier is right here underneath this uh, shielding plate here so you're your head amp is here and your preamp is is right here so those are the two areas and with the as far as the transformer goes i think that you might have a regulator that is going bad on you um these regulators do have a tendency to fail they have a high fail rate and I've, I've found a few uh, of the 7250 Sanyos that needed to have the regulator replaced. When you're looking for a regulator, try to look for one that's from uh, Sanyo. Or get one that is new old stock from Sanyo. Because you can try buying one off eBay, but... I mean, you can get them off eBay, but you want to try and get one that's from Sanyo. You want to try and look look at one and, and uh, get one from them because there's a lot of counterfeits out there. And they're either going to not work or they're going to work for a very short length of time and then they'll go out again. Just be careful when buying the regulator because you can get burned. I actually had a customer at one time brought me a uh, Sony SL HF600 he 
it had no power light and he got a voltage regulator he replaced it and the regulator did not work and he didn't want to believe that that was the problem and he sent it to me and I, I put my uh, known good new old stock regulator in because I had a good source that I was buying them from and I put it in and the thing fired right up the power light came on started playing tapes so yeah anyway you just got to be careful buying regulators from eBay because there are a lot of counterfeits out there that are not real they either like I said either they don't work at all or they don't last um, the one that on that 600 for that customer that particular one lasted for about two seconds he said he had a power light for about two seconds and then he lost the power light yeah because it was a fake it was a counterfeit it wasn't real so it's it's very hard to get one that's new old stock you know they're still available they still there's still a lot of them floating out there that needs to be used but uh, yeah just just be careful when you're buying a regulator because you don't know what you're getting sometimes and asking a lot of questions is the best way to go handle that Anyway, um, this is where the preamp circuitry is, and I like I said, it's not marked, so, you know, Sony would have marked it, right? Sony would mark the board, what the record side and what the playback side was, but not Samuel. I guess Samuel didn't really think about it. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.